My name is Oliver Wotherspoon and I'm going to be talking to you about the billboard project that myself and Adrian Barber, photographer and filmmaker, have been running within the Dean in Hulton Lane community. We've been engaging residents through creative workshops, looking at issues that arise within the area at night time, such as knife crime, antisocial behaviour, use on the street at night, and we've been putting it to them to offer us what solutions um, you know, they would implement. My role has been to design and fabricate a billboard that will be freestanding within the Willows Community Centre. So this is what we're going to be fabricating within the community. This is the billboard. It'll be exhibiting a little light on here and the community's artwork will be represented on the board here. Um, and then in time this artwork will come down and the community then will take ownership over the board and they can showcase their thoughts and ideas about their community within this area here. For this particular project we've worked with children within the Dean community in Hulton Lane. We've worked right through to the elderly at the sheltered accommodation on Hulton Lane. We've worked right through to youth clubs such as Wally's within the area. We've been running visual arts workshops such as light graffiti and graffiti kind of boards really. Just different, using different sort of um, ways of engaging people um, to talk about the issues that affect their area. Tonight we're down at Hulton Lane working with Adrian Barber, filmmaker, working alongside local residents and volunteers from the Hulton Lane community. The aim of tonight's event is to get people to contribute in a creative way. Um, we met with some kids recently and they wanted to express themselves with music rather than just by talking. So we got Robbie from Insight Media to come down tonight with some of the young people. And tonight we're going to be making photographs, music, using lights and lasers. And we're going to be asking them about their views on the area. Basically we've been approaching young people and asking them to express themselves in an interview. However, we found that a few of them were closed up when we asked them about important issues that, you know, that affect themselves and society in general. So we went away and did a little bit of research and after thinking about it, they've suggested to us that MC is an easier way for them. You're afraid of the dark, I'm afraid of me. No need to the spirit and afraid of the streets. Cause all we wanna do is to play the beats and have a good time when it's the way to be. So I'll stay with me, I got nothing to do. So get back to your childhood, lost with the food. But then I surely get lost in the view. Every teenager's life when the cop that accuses crime. I know there's some shock in the tomb when we drunk chilling on the past talk in the booze. Then you get the food and chopping box in the booze. And I'm passing all people just stop this accuse. I chase my best to stop stereotypes. But I still get it when I plan to stare your high. I chase so much and you're still victimizing. Must be my yay, so I'm sick of trying. Adrian has been running a fantastic workshop out in the community called Light Graffiti. It's just the most amazing thing where residents, all ages, can get involved. Uh, it's really visual, it's really interactive and basically everybody seems to love it. It's a case of getting torches, uh, toy lightsabers, even mobile phones and things. And when it goes dark, Adrian sets his camera to a certain dial on his camera and he takes a picture and what comes out is the most amazing, spectacular photograph of, well, it's like light graffiti, really. And um, hopefully we can do that justice in taking those photographs and putting them out on the billboard and people will see it and just go, wow, that's fantastic. If there was something going on at a centre nearby that had stuff like what we've been doing tonight, would it interest you? Yeah, definitely. Right, too right, definitely. They're all time, won't they? <laughs> yeah. All teenagers are into music. Not all teenagers are into sport and stuff, but all teenagers like the music, whether it's indie music, rapping, MC and dance. Everyone likes a certain kind of music, but like not everyone likes sport, not everyone likes art and craft, so it's a bit rubbish when you've got a youth centre that only specifies and stuff like that. You find out what people would actually enjoy doing, you know, like us, me, Steve, Matty, we all like doing DJing, creating lyrics, stuff like that. that I'm sure most people in Dean would come and do that. And we've opened up like a few more youth clubs, like Willow Centre, literally round the corner here has been opened up now. Right. There's a lot of stuff like dancing sessions and tie boxing sessions go on there and stuff now as well. We've been fabricating the billboard, um, so that's the structure is complete and it's just, you know, there's a real buzz about it now. We've got all the residents' artwork and photographs, which we're pulling all together now, which will hopefully form uh, a 3D masterpiece that's going to be exhibited on the billboard and um, yeah I'm hoping that the community will feel a sense of pride and ownership in it because it's all their work. Hello I'm really pleased that you're here 
uh, and I think the project that's being carried out to see what happens on our road and your roads uh, in the evening is great. Now I actually had an opportunity to go in there and wave the coloured lights around and create the spectrum and I think you'll get an opportunity to do that as well and it's great. And I think it's raining now so maybe we should get this poster down um, quick and then get inside so that uh, we can all get away from the rain. On behalf of myself and Adrian, we'd just like to say a massive thank you to you, the residents, and to Bolton at Home. And we just hope that you guys have enjoyed following the project from start to finish, the development and how it's evolved. For more information on other uh, projects and workshops that we're running within the area, um, check out the websites at the end of this film. Thank you again.